Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with theautomationblog.com and in this video I want to show you how to set the Ethernet address of your PanelView Plus 7. Now the first thing you need to do is get to the configuration menu of the PanelView Plus which we talked about in a previous video. From there you want to select terminal settings. Then select networks and communications and select enter. Then select network connections and select enter. Then select network adapters and enter. And then select AB built-in Ethernet controller. And then select IP address. Now here you need to at a minimum put in an IP address and subnet mask that is compatible with the network the devices that the PanelView Plus are going to talk to are on. So if your PLC and other devices are on a particular subnet, your panel view will need to be on that same subnet to talk to them. With that said, if you have a router on your network, uh, maybe to allow you to access the PanelView Plus or the PLCs remotely from your office, then you'll need to put in that gateway address here as well. Now with that said, you'll also notice the MAC ID is listed here for reference purposes. And uh, it's always good to know what that is. That's the MAC address of the PanelView Plus 7 itself. And with that said, when you're done here, you can click on OK, but you will get a pop-up. And this pop-up says that you either need to cycle power or reboot the PanelView Plus 7 for this new address to take effect. So with that said, go ahead and click OK on that, and then click on Close four times. And then from here, you can click on Reset to reboot the PanelView Plus 7 so that your new Ethernet address will be active. And now I have a question for you. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, please let me know by liking the video. And if you'd like to see me produce more free videos like this on YouTube, then please let me know in the comments. In fact, if you'd like to help me reach my goal of making all of my videos ad-free, then please visit me over at patreon.com forward slash automation for as little as $1 a month you can help me towards reaching my goal to make all of my videos in the automation blog completely ad-free. And with that said, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.